Galnet News Update, 14th of October 3308. The governor of Andervandal Planet One, a rather charming Earth-like world that for some reason never acquired a name, has announced he's running for federal congress. There's nothing unusual about that. The unusual part is he's running on a peace with the Thargoids ticket. The young and dynamic Governor Dalton Chase uses social media far more than many of his older colleagues and his radical views have gained him significant support from younger voters. Dalton appears on the mainstream media but his face also appears frequently on ice casts which is where he first voiced his support for the Thargoid Advocacy Project using the catchy slogan Communication, not Extermination. It's unusual for any federal politician to speak of the Thargoids as anything other than battlefield enemies, and it is by no means clear whether this radical rethinking of federal popular opinion has any chance of success, or indeed, if his campaign promise to open diplomatic channels with the Thargoids is even possible, let alone desirable. The Thargoid Advocacy Project has endorsed Chase, but the pro-Hudson soul today describes Dalton and his followers somewhat pejoratively as alien lovers. Federal security forces continue to question Thargoid cult members over their alleged treason, and Secretary of State Lana Berkovich is progressing legislation to outlaw the cult. But there have not as yet been any moves to ban the secular Thargoid peace movement. The Sirius Corporation has announced that the heat sinks awarded to the top 75% of participants in the AX combat operation Tyndarius in Andikave are now available to collect from the megaship Kumihu Sky. These pre-engineered heat sinks hold a total of five rounds, one in the barrel, four in the magazine, better than the three held by standard heat sinks and the four that a normally engineered heat sink can manage. Admiral Glass has said that there are plans to make the heatsinks commercially available in due course. <laughs> 